Hi, I'm Jonathan Metter, and we're here in Pico America's service department with new products that have been delivered to retailers in time for early summer 2024. The White Pass in Yukon has always been a popular subject for G Scale and Garden Railway fans, and we've brought you a lot of items, and there are quite a few new White Pass in Yukon items this year as well. We're going to start off with a nice new hopper car uh, featuring the, the nice White Pass uh, decorations and of course it carries a lightweight Pico coal load that looks realistic and also can be removed if you want to run the car empty. Or maybe you'll want to fill that car up uh, with some Yukon gold ore. <laughs> if you do, you're doing really well there. Uh, but either way, it's going to look great running on your railroad. And next up, we take quite a journey from the White Pass to uh, Colorado, to the Colorado and Southern. Uh, although it's far away, they do share one thing, uh, the three-foot track gauge and narrow gauge railroad. And we've got a couple of nice new flat cars to add to your Colorado and Southern collection. Uh, we've made quite a few items for CNS, and I know that's a very popular railroad name for Garden Railroad and G-Scale hobbyists. And we've got them set up to show you that they come with removable stakes on the flat cars. There are plenty in the package for both cars. Uh, we just wanted to show off that you can run them either without or with the stakes installed. And bouncing back to the White Pass in Yukon, we've got a neat new little diesel switcher. This is a 25 ton diesel and it's equipped with our wonderful Pico uh, battery RC sound system which works fantastic. The batteries, six AAA batteries go in the hood in a little battery clip. We can install that. And we use high capacity rechargeables. You should be able to find uh, batteries with a, a rating of 1100 milliamp hour or even 1200 milliamp hour now. Uh, if you use a lower rating, you will not get good performance. But these rechargeable batteries with the 1100 milliamp hour or greater uh, give give you great performance. Uh, this little loco will run for almost a couple hours. Uh, so a great thing to get out there when you don't feel like cleaning the track or you may decide that this is the way you want to run trains all the time. So uh, we give a little flip of the switch underneath the left side of the cab and the engine sound will start up and also we give one click of the pocket remote button and the front headlight comes on uh, we give a couple clicks and go into reverse. The rear headlight comes on. This thing has a ton of sounds built in as well. So, all sounds of a real 25 ton diesel. We sent our crews out. Uh, we worked with TCS to develop the sound system and they recorded the real thing. So, we can also get the bell going if we're moving slowly and give a couple toots of the horn. And we'll put our little diesel to work uh, hauling those new cars. And continuing on, we have a lot of new items to show you. Here are a couple of nice new ore cars for the CSX Railroad. Uh, that's an Eastern Railroad, uh, more modern. Uh, but a whole string of those would look fantastic uh, running on your garden railroad. And moving back out west, we have a nice new steel box car decorated for the Rio Grande. Rio Grande was famous for some colorful freight cars, uh, as well as passenger cars and locomotives. But uh, this is a new paint scheme for Pico and will look great on your rear. And this is a neat new car decorated for Union Pacific. Everybody seems to love Union Pacific. That's one of the oldest uh, railroad names that hasn't uh, been taken over or merged or gone out of business. Uh, it's still in operation from, from the 1860s to today. And this carries a load of 
pulpwood logs and those logs are individually uh, cut and glued together into a nice solid load for you. Uh, they're lightweight though so it doesn't make too heavy a car. Uh, so that's a real wood load so nothing looks like the real thing. Uh, I think that's going to look great running on your railroad. And the Denver and Rio Grande, especially in the uh, later years of the 1950s, uh, hauled a lot of uh, pipe loads uh, to the oil fields around Farmington. Uh, they, there were whole trains of, of pipe for oil drilling. Uh, so this is a neat new uh, load uh, of six big pipes uh, carried as only a railroad could do uh, on a flat car. And everybody seems to love the what was called the Bumblebee paint scheme on the Denver and Rio Grande steam locos. We've done a bunch of them and they keep selling. People just love them. So they're all a little bit different so you can have similarity with a little variety as well. So this is a new one and I'm sure uh, it's going to be very popular. Uh, it also includes the, uh, the cool red and blue colored uh, Moffat route uh, logo. So. I know that that's going to be popular. And this locomotive has all the cool features you'd expect from a Pico Mogul with a Soundtracks sound system. It's got great working uh, 5 volt smoke. We'll get that going in a second. It's got a great sound system. It's got headlights front and rear. Uh, and it's got a lot of sound volume as well. So you can uh, let the neighbors know you're running trains late in the night. And we will get things going here. Get our bell going and give a couple of toots of the horn, the whistle. And we're ready to go. things off today we'll give you a two train run by well depending on the skill of the operator <laughs> 